This is where the game is. This is where the game's going to be won or lost. This is where lives are going to be saved. And that's from the vaccine. We are at a new phase in the COVID pandemic in Ohio. That's the message today from Governor Mike DeWine as the Delta variant causes an increase in cases. Good afternoon, I'm Cheryl McHenry. James is off. Today, the state reported there have been almost 1,700 new COVID cases in the last 24 hours. That's more than 600 cases higher than the 21-day average. For perspective, three weeks ago today, there were fewer than 500 new cases. The state reported 107 new hospitalizations in the last day. That's 45 above the three week average, and those trends are part of the reason the governor held his first COVID news conference in weeks today. News Center 7's Molly Kowick is live in the news center. Molly, the governor stressed that right now the state has two groups of people. He said those who are safe and those who are not. Cheryl, he breaks down those two groups of Ohioans by who's vaccinated and who's not, saying those who've had the shot are protected from the virus. And he turned to state data to prove his point. He explained since January 1st, more than 18,000 people have ended up in Ohio hospitals with COVID. Of that group, 295 people were fully vaccinated. That means 98%, more than 98% of people hospitalized with the virus have not been fully vaccinated. The governor has continued to stress the state will not mandate vaccines, but he asked Ohioans to consider those who are not eligible for the vaccine and therefore will not get its protection. When we talk about choice, free choice, when we talk about free will, when we talk about everyone making their own decision, we do have some Ohioans who can simply cannot be vaccinated. And I think that's something that we need to keep in mind as well. I think the governor is right to remind us that we do have young ones among us who it's our collective responsibility to protect. While the state is leaving vaccinations up to people's choice, certain companies are making the call for their employees. Coming up at 6, I'll be sharing my conversation with an employment attorney about both employees and employers' rights. Reporting live, Molly Kowick, News Center.